everybody, welcome to the Trade Corner. Those joining us for the very first time, welcome you all. Welcome. For those wondering where I've been, I had a, I made a video to just tell you people about um, where I've been the past couple of months. So I'm going to link it up here. About maybe what two, three, so probably three weeks ago from now, um, we had a show and there was a Namibian makeup artist. Everybody knows her very well. Her name is Hannah Nangula. She's a makeup artist. She can train you and she does makeup for like NBC stuff and all of that stuff, you know, for the news. I mean, for TV and all of that good stuff. And she has her own um, beauty brand and, and cosmetics and all of that good stuff. I bought some of her stuff during the show. And today I just want to review her products. I don't know if most of you have already used her products. I'm not sure. I really am not sure. I could probably do my research, but I'm too lazy. So today I'm going to review her products. She did a bit of my touch-ups during the show. So I'm going to quickly show you what I bought. I'm going to start off with the pencil because the pencil was the one thing that I got from her. And this is literally was like a, a cheap pencil, an eyebrow pencil, because the day I went to I went to work my brown with my eyebrows, like the brown was gone, and then I had to use like a, my black pencil. And she was like, come, 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 let me give you a brown pencil. So she gave me a brown brow pencil with a spoolie on the one end. There you go, here we go. So that's fully on the one end. And then she also did, and it literally moves those very small, uh, 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 you literally must like, you know, do that. And then you see the thin pencil on the one end. I hope you can see that. I used it already on my eyebrows. I mean, on my brows, yes, because look at how light it is. I usually like to have a little bit of a dark mm, brow, but some of the looks actually then requires like a nice subtle brow. I also got a lipsticky from her. And this is how pretty it looks. This is literally something that she gave me. She said this is will work for you. So there we go. Oh, I got myself three contact powders. Here we go. Oh, I know why I did that. I did um, one for highlight. Um, one is good uh, skin tone. And then I did one for um, if I want to contour a little bit or bronze a bit. That's why I did three compact powders. See, I forgot. Um, I got a primer from her as well. They look really, really cool. I really like her packaging. It's very simple. I mean, the ingredients are there. And the instructions are also there on each one, each product. And then she has a lash glue. And then I'm going to use lash glue on some of the lashes. I didn't get lashes from her, but we're going to use it on my own lashes. Not my own, but you know, separate lashes. Like that. And then I got the eyeshadow palette of, from her as well. It looks very pretty. I really like the simple um, packaging. We'll talk about this when we start using it. I got myself a foundation. It's literally a compact foundation, very creamy foundation. We'll talk about it now as well. I see I kept the receipt because I always forget to talk about how much money I spent. For all of these products, I spent $700 on the three powders, the foundation, the primer, um, the glue, um, I got complimentary eyeshadow palette for buying her products and then the the lipstick and then the eyebrow pencil was also complimentary. We're going to get started with the primer because I already did the eyebrows. Um, one thing I must tell you when she, when she talks about doing the eyebrows is that she prefers you powder your eyebrow a little bit and then you use a spoolie to comb it out and then you draw it out. It says, she says it, it really gives you a nice thingy. Mine is just, I don't really do that because my, my skin is already like a dry. So before I put product on, I do my eyebrows first because that's usually my thing anyway. Oh, you know, that's really my thing. So this is the primer. Um, basically, that's what it looks like. Her brand is definitely black and gold. And then she'll put her name in there. And this one is the Oil Control Flawless Face Base Pore Minimizer Primer. And she says, use your fingertips to gently rub the primer all over your face after you moisturize. I know she has a stand in Vern Hill and I think she also has one at Grove. I stand corrected for the one at Grove. But you can definitely follow her on like her Instagram and stuff. It's not sponsored, by the way. And it's clear. That's basically what it looks like. I like the kind of biggie where it comes from. That's really cool. So really really thick i'm just applying it on my nose because that's the area that's mostly oily it's the full cover cream foundation it is long lasting the the shade that i bought is tega 
she's cool enough to actually try this product on you you have to go there with no makeup of course i had to remove a little bit of mine here on the side for her to like put it on to match because otherwise i'll just link her instagram page in the my description box and you can go check there and see how much this costs it's a long lasting full cream foundation for dry combination no more oily skin it has a lot of products in there yeah not as if you want that sweetie thingy it looks like this is how small it is um cream foundations are anyway usually small in like small compact thingies like this and i really like the black it's very nice and literally has signature again there and then the one i have like i said is tega look 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 and i'm going to use a brush to apply it onto my skin see so you can hardly see it on my skin i love the shade match she did such a great job and it's so thick this here needs a brush to be applied like i think this is the best way to do it so i'm going to start applying it now I'm hoping that it actually does show up at least for you. I think it will last long if you use a brush because to apply, although I think like you must have like patience because it's really thick. And even when she retouched mine, she didn't use a blender, she used a brush because this here needs to be moved with a brush. I actually thought I bought one of her brushes, but clearly I didn't, that she likes to use for foundation. But you can use any foundation brush that you're happy with. I think it's also very nice for like spot. If you want to do like spot foundation application, you can, because it's so nice and thick. So I think this will go a long way. Look, it doesn't even look like I touched it at all. But you must use a brush. Don't go use your, your fingers to get in there. I'm going to use this foundation brushy to apply. I mean, to just move the product. I would say... If you're going to use, oh, this is literally matte, 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 matte. It doesn't really require a lot of movement anyway. But yeah, before I get distracted, there are different kinds of foundation brushes. She prefers a nice, thick, compact one to move the product. I can understand, and that is nice and soft to also move the product. Look at how beautifully it covers. This is pretty. I know that you can go back in if you feel like your coverage is not enough. And they just go back in to get the coverage that you want. I'm going to use the foundation to then clean up the my under eyebrow area. Adjust a little bit. And do the same on this side. I like its thickness. I think the thing that you would have to do if you're an amateur at using her products is that you don't want to over, like, be heavy handed. You're going to have to use this very slowly and be patient with it. Um, but I like that it's not so runny. And I like that you can use with a brush. It means the product will last a long while in here and on your face. But I wonder if I can use a different, like, a liquid highlighter. I'm going to try a liquid highlighter. And I'm going to use this one from Fit Me. Just a random one and then see if that does not work the nice thing about a cream foundation is that you can always use liquid on top and it should just stay put you know what i mean so there we go And I'm just using a random brush. This is my Zoeva brush. It's a soft definer brush, but it's nice and thick. So I'm going to use that one to just blend out here. I mean, the joy about brushes, if you know how to use your brushes, you can always interchange them for whatever purpose you need. And I'm just blending this in here. I think maybe I should have done like the one side cream and the one side liquid but it's also working very nicely you don't need to do a lot i'm just patting it on here and then i'm going to go in with a blender and just blend it out very nicely 
so right now it's just to move the product in the areas that i really want and to get more coverage and then i'm going with my beauty blender damp beauty blender and just blend out let's blend this one here should actually just do the job properly because the foundation is already full cover it should just all right and then there i like the blend i like the way that it looks it looks really cool and oops And the concealer is really um it's really adhering nicely to the cream foundation so the puffy thing that i'm going to use to to apply my powders is this puffy thingy here i don't know what you call them buff puff or whatever i don't know what to call them but anyway i'm going to use that i like the way that it sets literally tap it in here and there set the under my eyes Mind you, it doesn't come in brown, it's just I've been using it. And because I've used it multiple times, it's more brown than it is white. But they come in white when you are like looking for them. I'm going to start with Solid Tear. Our innovative formula also contains moisturizing botanical extracts to leave the skin feeling soft and fresh. No chance of shine when you have it on. It goes on smooth to even out your skin tone to give you a natural matte finish. You won't go out without it love it it literally is even the powders are literally full cover powders so you want to be careful and not be heavy-handed like i'm doing it now but i'll get it right very soon it's the first time that i'm using and this hub brand has been on the market for i think four years maybe if i'm not mistaken <laughs> hi don't mind me i'm just having fun with this i haven't done like a beauty video for a while so don't mind me so i'm going to use what to contour with an angled brush i'm going to use to put just here this is not so deep like i am used to i'm going to show you what i'm usually used to i usually use like those dark colors you know look at how that the brown i've used that brown in comparison this is a bit more warmer one is a bit more cooler so usually colors like this that are just for dark a bit of um darkening is mostly for you won't call this um contouring as such but it's more of a bronzing it does give you your cheeks a bit of a snatch but it's just a warmer snatch in comparison to the very cool of a contour that makes sense i hope it makes sense so here we go i'm going to put it all over the thing I don't like about this powder is the fallout. Look at how much fallout we get. But maybe it's also because I'm being very heavy-handed with everything. So don't be heavy-handed. Mind you, I'm just applying in those areas. Like I said, I didn't contour. So I'm using the powder to bronze me. To create those arches I want. And then I go in with a, not the bra another brush. Just for the nose area. Just snitch my nose a little bit. I'm really going to go into that um, eyebrows to just shape them again a little bit. So, now that that's done, I am going to put a bit of loose powder here underneath here so we can do some of the eyeshadow. It's just a normal one. I bought this one from like a beauty shop. And I'll just put it here. So that if we have any fallout from the eyeshadow, I don't know if I want to use a white base to apply the eyeshadow, but I don't want to do anything extraordinary with the eyeshadow. I say that all the time and then I go Bleh, with it, but this is what it looks like. It's very pretty. It just has ingredients. It says it was produced and packed in Namibia, Bentuk. Oh, I didn't see that. And yeah, nothing extra here, instruction wise. And then, of course, you open it like that. And there are all the colors. It comes with the mirror here on top where I'm holding so it doesn't reflect in the camera. 
and of course there's colors that i love and guys the shimmers of the bomb.com and it has nice names like okongo kori has taihams Ochinene, Solitaire, Oni, Determination, Canvas, La Mirage, Cesarium, I don't know what that is, It All, Atlantic Olive, Divundu, Quiver, Epukiro, Power, Chobe, Pink, and I like the names of the, this guys, the glitters, is the, the strip glitter, the, uh, the bomb.com. Look at how they're showing up, I want to show it up nicely, there you go. I mean, they're not doing it justice. They're not doing it justice at all. They're not doing it any justice. So, those are the shimmers. That pink one there is pink. <laughs> the yellow, orangey one is termination, and black is onime. So, there we go. Most like places and I guess just names that may resonates with her. I really didn't ask her about the names. And I'm going to use just a normal eyeshadow liquid um, concealer cover up, and I'm going to use Pretty by Flo Mar. And I'm going to use that as a base, but I'm going to use my finger to blend this out here. So I'm not going to dry it out a lot. I'm going to leave it a little bit wet and try and playing around with the colors that way. I'm using a Bukiro right now. And this is literally a use stamping the product on. And it's much darker than it looks because it looks like a very light brown, but the way it's showing up, I think here in the mirror it's like it's a much darker than I expected it to be. I'm not complaining, I'm just stating. And like I'm just stamping it in because I'm gonna go in with Okongo or Korihas and then make it darker because Korihas is black, almost a matte black, and Okongo is like a shimmer black. And I'm just gonna stamp it here from the literally my lid and work it up to the brown. I like the color, it's very pretty. I wonder if she has a base. I didn't really ask if she has an eyeshadow base that you can use, you know, for pigment and stuff. But the pigment looks okay. I'm not complaining. I'm just taping it on and then I'm going to use a different brush to like work it out because in the middle here, I mean it here, I'm going to put a shimmer and I think I'm going to do an onime which is like a black glitter also. Use a cleaner brush and just brush that black, the edges there into the brown. I'm not going to try and overdo it. I'm going to do this. I'm doing it as lightly as I possibly can. So far, I'm not seeing any um, runoff from the powder. I think it's because, I mean, from the eyeshadow, I think it's because the concealer I used, the base was a little bit wet, so the color can adhere and not really move around a lot. So it's good because now all I'm doing is literally just stamping it, the black, into the brown to create a nice fade up here. So I'm using three different brushes. I'm using um, the Soft Luxe Soft De uh, Definer uh, 227 from the Zoeva brush. And this is just the angled brush for blending that I use to apply the black. This is a much thicker blending brush that I'm using. And that's the one that I used to apply the first base, which was Korihas. So now I'm literally just working this black in the, into the brown. I think I'm quite happy with the way that it looks. I don't think I want to make it a little bit more, but I think I want to move it up there. So I'm going to use it again and just move it up a little bit up. Into the brown. And I'm creating an angle because my eye usually goes like this. So and this is the area that I have a lot of space. So I'm trying to move it into that open space there, but not so close to the lid. And I also think I'm going to put a little bit of highlighter just under something lighter there to like pull up my eyebrow like this, you know. So, so far I like the way that it looks. And I'm going to apply the glitter with just my finger and like that and apply it here in the inner corner and see if it adheres. It does. Oh, this is cute. Oh, we're going 
to just do that. That looks nice. I, I like it. I finished the eyeshadow part. Went in with a Pukiro here as my transition shade. And then I used Korihaz as the black. And then I went in with then Onime because of how that glitter there that's what i used to then finish it off basically and then i did a bit of floor um i used a bit of the concealer again to just highlight my brow a little bit more because i wanted it a bit more highlighted and that's basically all i did i'm going to put uh, mascara on her thing doesn't say whether you must put mascara on before you must put i'm actually a bit afraid to use this glue um yeah it doesn't say anything it doesn't give instructions everything is almost like it in Chinese or there's even nothing written on the glue itself um, and it's this cute holder I wonder what it is for um, yeah so it is I glue. I don't know if you must dry it first oh it dries clear that's the joy I'm going to use old lashes that I haven't used in a while you can see it's not in different packaging anyways those lashes they go do the usual route yes mascara and then put the glue and then the lashes I don't know if I must put you here first or yeah, I'm here applying the thing. I think it's 30 second roll. Must we try 30 second roll? Let's try 30 second roll. So, while we're doing all of these things so far, how do I like it? I need the products. I like the products. So it's very nice on my skin. Oh, it is the one. It's already sticking. 30 seconds. Don't blow on your lashes, please. I think it's stuck. I think we're there. Yeah, I'm going to use from the eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use that orange there and then that pink there I'm going to use the same elbow brush that I used to contour. I like doing that. I don't know why I like to use the same brush Tap it off and then that's what I'm going to use as a blush area Yeah I've been really loving um, the orange almost type of look for my blush more than the pink See, sometimes the eyeshadow palettes do come in very handy when it comes to like using them as blush. Um, if you don't have a blush. Oh, I'm going to try olive. I'm going to try that olive here and see if it will not work as a highlight for at the top of my cheeks. Before I do that, I'm going to go in with this stick here. This chunky stick from NYX and just put in the inner corner of my eye. Just to open my eye up more. I will go in shortly with mascara. Anyway, in the meantime, in the meantime, why am I seeing that song? I'm gonna go in with a cut crease brush and go into that olive and see that olive will complement. Just a little bit. I'm going to do a lot. The blush that I already put there. It does actually complement it. I feel like I look like a doll now. So I'm going to go into this my Foshini palette edition and use that shade there and just highlight my nose a little bit. And then the bridge a little bit. And then the, the lipsticky. And what is this color? It just says HN2. It doesn't really give me a different name. Maybe it's Aphrodite is the color. It just says this matte liquid lipstick is long lasting color that perfectly outlines and fills in the lips. Our long lasting lip gloss delivers matte and waterproof effect. Also made in Bentuk. That's basically what it says. Maybe it's Aphrodite is the. Name on everyone's lips by yeah Aphrodite. The name on everyone's lips by Hannah and Angola. Okay, so we're done with the review of this products of the Hannah and Angola cosmetics brand. Guys, I love the full cover. 
like okay so what was my favorite product my favorite product is the foundation the full cover is everything then okay and the love and the love is also everything i think in total i just like the whole thing i like everything i'm happy i tried a namibian brand let me know the other namibian brands that you want me to try that i hear that i missed somehow and i actually am very happy that i finally tried the hana nangula cosmetics products i am upset that i'm only doing it now because i could be looking like a doll all the time the eyebrow shape or shade is my thing because if you watch my previous videos i love a dark eyebrow because my i my brow hairs is anyway very like um dark so i usually go darker but i like that i did light with the eye and the smokiness of it all and also i think it's just because i haven't done like a full face in a while um i've been doing very like light you know just as long as there's makeup type of things but this look really really cool i'm happy i tried it go out there and buy her products i will put her her handles and where you can get her products in my description box again there's not a sponsored video it's all the products most of them like i said in the beginning i bought and the ones i was given of course and i'm really happy with every, how everything turned out and yeah so that's basically what that looks like i am happy i did this review the glue is also the one but you must wait for 30 seconds and just so technically all the products for me are really cool i must just learn to use them nicely with all the other products that i have and i'm glad i did this review the hana nangula cosmetics people hana nangula cosmetics and i look like a doll it's so cool i can't wait to take instagram pictures thank you guys so much for watching i am going to just be here basking in my dullness and try and get low light